Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out redzonecoins.com and use code ZERK for 15% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we're going to be doing a shopping spree and also going to show you guys a little lineup update because we have a lot of new players in the team. Now I do want to give a shout out to Luke Nolan for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys have a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the mid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn the notification bell on and comment down below Nota Gang. Now I'm recording this video late Saturday night after just uploading the $1,000 pack opening. So if you guys haven't already seen it, yes, $1,000 pack opening because you guys destroyed the like button on the Legends video this morning, or I guess yesterday morning time you guys seen this video. Go check out that $1,000 pack opening. We had a ton of huge pulls in that video. It was insane. Go check that video out. But as I said, shopping spree first, and then we're going to get into the lineup. So let's make some upgrades. So starting off, we're going to pick up a couple of these, the 50 players that I really want to pick up. One of them being Walter Jones. He has 279,000 coins. And I just want to mention one thing, by the way. The 50 players, EA, you got to add some other way in the game to get their powers because... Like, Walter Jones and these other players, they're being pulled out of packs at a decent rate to where no one is actually doing the sets because the sets right now are like seven eight hundred k who's gonna do walter jones set for like 700k when he's 280k so his power up is either non-existent or half a million coins it just doesn't make sense so i'm not powering up any of these 50 players we're buying today we are buying a couple of them though and ea you got you gotta add something to the game man because this is this is not good but we're also gonna be picking up jimmy graham for the team name everyone why i'm picking up jimmy graham we already have jermichael finley on the squad yes we do have jermichael finley on the team but I like Jimmy Graham slightly better. Now, also, I want to let you guys know that I am no longer using Tight End Apprentice. I know it says I have it on him, but I'm actually not activating it. So, yeah, I don't really run those medium routes as much with Jermichael Finley anymore. That's why he was so good. He has 91 medium route running. But when it comes to Jimmy Graham, his short route running is better. His spec catch is better. Same catch traffic. He is faster as well. Better strength. Much better catching as well. Run block is slightly less, but... Jimmy Graham, I think, is going to be a better overall option for me. As much as I loved Michael Finley, I, I may end up just keeping them both. Now, also, I'm going to be picking up the newest wide receiver that I must have for my team in Tyrone Calico for half a million coins. I know it's a lot spent on wide receiver. I can definitely admit that. But he's an absolute beast. Six foot four, 91 speed, 90 acceleration, 90 jumping, 86 catching, 89 catch traffic, 89 spectacular catch, 85, 88, and 91 when it comes to his route running. Now, you might be wondering who is going to get replaced on the team. Well, you guys can see my wide receivers. Obviously, Tyron Calico now. Reggie Wayne, not going anywhere. Andre Johnson is not even starting for me. He's wide receiver five. He's actually going to replace Mark Clayton in my team. You guys can see, compared to Clayton, he has two more speed, same jumping, same catching, but five more catch and traffic, better short route running, and better deep route running. So I think the two more speed is definitely worth it. Plus, five nine to six four. That's a big difference. So when it comes time to throw a high ball in the back of the end zone, I know Tyrone can actually go up and get it. And also, we are going to be picking up Reggie White for the team. Now, I actually don't even have a left end here, so unfortunately, it's not going to show it. I use Aaron Donald at left end right now, but Reggie White, to me, is the best defensive end in the game. I don't think it's close. This card is ridiculous. Of course, one gets thrown up for 388 as I buy for 400. But Reggie White, 76 speed, 86 XL, 91 block shed, 91 power move. I mean, he's just going to be nasty. Now, we may not be going out to buy his new card, and maybe you guys want to check the $1,000 pack opening to see why we don't have to go out and purchase this card, but TJ Watt is another card we're going to be actually powering up today because obviously TJ Watt, uh, I'll... I'll just use, no, nah, actually, because I'll probably end up having to use that pass for someone else later. I'll use the 83 overall TJ Watt. We actually have a couple of them, but we're going to be powering up TJ Watt on the team right now. I love Elvis Doomerville, but Doomerville is really, really good. TJ Watt is even better. Now, of course, we're picking up all these cards. There's a little bit more work we need to get done. So we're going to go ahead and add Lockdown onto Reggie White. I know Lockdown doesn't actually help him, but I use Lockdown strictly to actually help the rest of my team. You guys can see to get the catching, to get the zone, to get the press, the tackling, all that stuff. Uh, it also gives man coverage. Yeah, there it is, man coverage and also play rec. But we are going to add Sprinter onto all these new players as well. 
So we already got Reggie White, and now we are going to take care of Tyron Calico as well. Now, of course, when it comes to wide receivers, I'd like to put go deep on them to kind of help them with throwing the ball deep. I feel like that's pretty important this year, especially with uh, like out of range throws, which now we uh, may have a little bit better quarterback. Next up is going to be Jimmy Graham, and again, the same thing with Jimmy Graham, guys. We are going to go with Go Deep on Jimmy, and we are also going to go ahead and add Sprinter onto him as well. As for Walter Jones, we're going to go ahead and add Zone Run onto him, and then we are also going to add Sprinter onto him, which obviously Sprinter isn't necessarily for the offensive lineman because, you know, it does take away from their strength and everything, but... I think I'll take the minus in strength to try to get the rest of my team up with Sprinter to get them over the next couple of tiers. And the final thing I have to do before we actually get into the lineup is add Edge Protector onto Walter Jones. That is a much, much needed and necessary ability on offensive tackles. All right, so now let's get into the lineup. Now, honestly, the only change I could see me really making on this team would be to pick up a new right guard, and that would be to upgrade to maybe Larry Allen. But this is the current offense. Mike Vick, 93 overall. Barry Sanders, 94. We have Tyrone. We have Reggie Wayne. We have Tyreek Hill. Jimmy Grant at tight end number one. Heath Miller at tight end two. And Hunter Henry at tight end number three. By the way, if you don't know why I have, like, the blue overalls from Chemistries, uh, Zach Martin, Travis Frederick, Richie, and also Walter Jones. Now, I haven't sold anything from the $1,000 pack yet, so we have a lot of cards to sell, we have a lot of coins to make, and we have players that we just replaced to actually go ahead and sell as well. Now, in terms of abilities, what am I running on offense? Well, you guys can see currently I am using a bunch of different players, right? So I'm actually using Barry Sanders with Jukebox and Freight Train, of course, for his X Factor. Now, as for the quarterback, we are running Quick Draw and Roaming Deadeye on Mike Vick with Bazooka. Of course, we're using Edge Protector on both our tackles. Reggie Wayne, we have Double Me, a Route Technician, and Slot Apprentice. And then we also have All Day on Richie Incognito. Now, the only reason I have All Day on him, because honestly, I don't even really know if it works that well is because I had one extra AP, because I went from using three on Lamar Jackson to now having Michael Vick, who I can only use two on because, like, the abilities just don't make sense to put anything of them in uh, Tier 1. He has terrible Tier 1 abilities. And as for, like, Tier 2 and Tier 3, those are the two that I actually need and want on my quarterback. Now, defensively, this is how the team is looking. You guys can see we do have Jamal Adams at strong safety now. Uh, Isaiah Simmons is back up. We also have TJ Watt, Junior Seau, Sam Mills, LT, Steve Atwater, and Adrian Wilson. Quarterbacks, we have Dion Asante, Rod Woodson, Byron, and Honey Badger at cornerback number five. Now, also defensive line, we have Miles Garrett, Leroy Glover, uh, Grady Jarrett, and now Reginald White. Now, if we take a look at the abilities I'm actually running on defense, you guys will notice all my defensive backs have abilities, at least the ones that actually play. Deion Sanders has got Acrobat, Jamal Adams. I play my middle linebacker. He has Acrobat. Uh, Byron Jones has got Acrobat. Uh, Rod Woodson, Acrobat. And guess what? Steve Atwater, Acrobat. I know a lot of people like to run bench press. I mean, really guys can run press man all day. I just don't really find that that fun, to be honest, uh, to run press man. And not just that, but it's really not as hard as like some people make it out to be. All you have to do is motion a receiver, and it completely messes up the entire man coverage this year. So if I see someone that's using bench press and they're pressing me, I'm just going to motion receivers, and it's not going to work. So I'd rather use Acrobat. That's going to work in man and also zone, and it's definitely seen some great success for me. Uh, also, I've got Lawrence Taylor with Unstoppable Force for his X-Factor and Edge Threat. Uh, Dion also has got Universal Coverage. My other uh, X-Factor is on Steve with Universal Coverage. And then Miles Garrett I have Under Pressure on because it seems to work pretty well. For me so with that being said guys that is my offense and that is my defense i'd say really excited about jamal adams i use my power pass on him i also probably already uploaded a video going over the best players to use that power pass on so if you haven't already seen that video make sure you guys go and check it out uh but honestly i'm really excited to see what we can do hopefully we do better than we did last week in weekend league it was not a great week of weekend league i had some really tough matchups so we'll see what we can do but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to drop a like on the vid and of course hit that sub button down below also this video is going up on sunday i believe so let me know down below did your team win today has your team played yet What's the score in that game if the game is still going on? So hope you guys enjoy the vid. See you guys next time.